making your time available. It's much appreciated. Thanks, Leanne. Uh, Thomas McNaughton is the next one. Uh, kia ora koutou. Um, so I'm submitting in a personal capacity and as per my submission, I'm really supportive of all the pieces in the annual plan that talk about improving road safety outcomes, particularly road calming and reducing speed limits. And also given that we're in the midst of a climate change emergency, all the pieces which encourage active travel. Um, so well done on all of those pieces and also I should say on the work done so far on the matter that my submission focuses on. Um, so I know that you read submissions in advance, so I won't go through all of it, but um, long story short, the problem from my perspective is that there's a school campus rebuild happening in the northwest, and um, the new design does not yet include um, a public walking and cycling path, which has, to me, been part of the DNA of the community for uh, many decades. Um, and as per the sort of rough map I cobbled together there, um, I see it as part of uh, really a walking and cycling cycling corridor, which um, has um, connected um, suburbs in the northwest together. Um, you know, long before major cycleways were a thing. Um, so there's a lot of amenity along this route, uh, many really key council facilities, um, but there's also you know myriads of you know friends and Fano connections uh, between these um, suburbs. And I do think that the benefits, um, the opportunities of um, this path will increase significantly with the Norwest Arc launch and um, as the area intensifies. Um, so I think we'd all agree that, you know, we'd rather people for short trips would be walking or cycling rather than, you know, needlessly burning fuel and uh, particularly with the cost of petrol these days. Um, so as per my submission, you know, based on my understanding of the status of this one. Um, I know it's you know not your land and that the new path proposed wouldn't be the same as, as what's there. Um, it's my personal view that um, CCC as the custodian of the local transport network should take the lead on the matter um, if, it, if there is a possible solution still and um, put capex in the annual plan um, for, um, for keeping a path and I've made comment about um, minimising the rates burden of course. Um, so that's my perspective and um, but I hope we can all agree that you know, in 2022 um, losing any um, active travel connection is a really big deal and I know this is complex and that there has been work done behind the scenes um, but you know, if this concludes with um, two parts of government, government being unable to um, negotiate a solution and, um, and not being deemed a priority, um, when from a local transport perspective, schools aside, to me it doesn't seem like it's been consulted on. Um, I think this is a, a case of something potentially slipping through the cracks. Um, so that's why I'm speaking today. Um, so well done on the pieces that I opened with and on the, the work done on this matter. Um, I hope you can do more um, because to me this is this is infrastructure that could continue to serve and connect communities for many decades to come. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, we've, we've worked very closely with the Ministry of Education to see if there's a solution here. Um, as you know, the pathway can't go through the middle, so the desire line has been lost. So uh, we were um, prepared to fund the lighting um, and the Ministry was going to fund the pathway. Um, but when that wasn't an option to put it through where it was um, or even in proximity. So the, the proposal that they came up with, which is why it's 1.3 million, was to divert it around the side of the school. So it no longer is a desire line. And there was a view that the community um, was not going to use it as frequently as the direct line was and that there were going to be issues, um, obviously, late at night, which is why lighting's so um, important. The council itself, though, does own the street network on the other side, and, um, and one, of the, one of the things that um, staff are still looking at is whether it can circle the school on the other side without going into the ministry 
um, site. So, mm. so, so the, the, the connection issue isn't lost yeah. as an issue, um, but, the, um, but the reality is, is that the, the going through the school um, really isn't an option. Um, it won't produce um, sufficient. I don't know whether anyone from the community board particularly wants to comment on it, but um, that's my understanding of the situation. Well, that's that's great to hear that there's a, another solution still being being looked at. Yeah, but it is using the existing street network and looking at what can be done around the other side of the school. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much.